Today we're going to talk about dry brushing. Dry brushing is a painting technique. Let's have a look. Dry brushing brings out the little tiny details, like the distressed battle damage on the edge of this and the pitting and cratering. Wouldn't be as noticeable without a lighter color paint to bring it out. Let's have a look at these models over here. These are done with one color of paint. There's a little silver and there's some decals. But it's pretty much one color, and it's just not as interesting. So, dry brushing is the technique that will bring out those details. Here I have a one inch disposable brush. This is the cheapest brush I could find. And some Benjamin Moore paints. These are Benjamin Moore sample colors. They cost about $3 a piece. Um, what colors are we using on this? Uh... Let's see, we're using kind of mud, rust, and dust is how I would best French describe press. It. French press. Elkhorn. El Elkhorn. And, and uh, satchel. Satchel. Just yeah. bear in mind wet mud, dry dust, rust. These are colors. So we want to go lighter. Dry brushing works with a lighter color. So I'm going to use this sort of dusty sandstone color. Put a little bit of paint on the brush and start taking it off. I'm going to use this sketchbook here to show when I've taken enough paint off the brush to where I'm just hitting the top. Okay, now we can see the texture of the book a little bit. See that? So it's basically barely enough paint to like glaze it almost. Really yeah. taking it off. Okay. It's perhaps a little bit more than we wanted, but it's fine. It's the top. Draw it down a little bit. There's a perfect one. Okay. I'm break up the color a little. I actually like that because this is dusty. I'm going to use this to apply a little bit of dust. You got a close up? You see that? So we can see the little rivets coming out. Okay, here's another great one. We've got a lot of detail right there. I'm going to pass that over. Pretty cool. Now the detail stands out. Magic. Let's try it again. There's rivet heads right here. Oh. <laughs> okay, so beep. And this is called a sub assembly. And a sub assembly means I can take it off and work on it separately. I've got my dry brush. It's just like SolidWorks. It. What's SolidWorks? It's a uh, CAD rendering that they use for product design. And yeah, it is just like SolidWorks. Yeah, so but you can do assemblies and sub-assemblies. So there you can see and it's brought the silver down. The silver deco that I used is brought together. So the only thing cooler than getting it done right is getting it done just a little bit better. So, isn't that true? So I'm going to so take true. a color that's a little bit lighter, and this is shockingly lighter, okay? But that's why we're going to use just a tiny, tiny amount. Tiny. So we're going to make this even drier. Yeah, first. so I'm going to unload the brush. It has to be on there. We have to have the brush full, but then we have to have it go away. So, Less is more. In this case, the least is the most. <laughs> uh, dry brushing is easy to overdo, and when you start out, you'll, you'll realize that you do it uh, not so good. Kind of a lot. And that's no reason to stop. Do you have any uh, recommendation on something to practice on before you go take your piece to Old it? Old toys. The toys that you don't like. Uh, me, I like Cobra Commander's Girlfriend. I wouldn't use that one. But I don't like... Um, you know, there's there's always something laying around. Um, something with a lot of texture, maybe, just so you can see the detail. Um, an old Todd McFarlane toy is the smartest thing in the world. Because <laughs> old Todd McFarlane toys have tons and tons of little snippy little detail-y type things. 
But you don't want to ruin a good spawn, that's for sure. No. <laughs> no, but some of those kiss clowns, <laughs> you, you could probably get by and lose one of those from your collection. This is coming along, okay. So, I'm brushing it fairly liberally. Okay, so on one side we can see it unpainted. And then here it is painted. A little bit better, huh? Okay. Uh, let's do just a little bit more for fun. Mix that. So paint on the brush, take the paint off the brush. It's a big brush. It's got a little box with some metal. I've got to be careful of that hatch. Right there. There's another little tank. I'm going to hit it. Now you can see the handles on there. Here's another little metal box. Did it like that. Now we can see the different little lines and stuff. Texture on this. Okay, it's sort of a canvasy texture. Came out a little bit. Okay, so next, the fantastic world of washes. Thanks so much for coming, everybody. I'm Lily Black. Have fun.